Reef DVM is here with the newest addition to our farmstead, the Phillips Pasta Maker. We love pasta here and we decided we wanted to make our own pasta. So we got the Phillips machine. We had heard great reviews on it. Everyone said that it may take a little time to get your recipe right, but once you get it right, this machine works wonderfully. It's not the fanciest machine on the market by any means. But we're not fancy people. We just want to make some good old-fashioned noodles. And we can say homemade noodles, but the machine is going to do all the work for us. So here it is. We've got all the different parts here. There's, It's really very simple. It's just got the different pasta dyes and the machine itself. We just try to unpackage it all. Of course, they get the drawer a little stuck here, so I try to get that open. And that's where you keep all of the different pasta dyes, which is really convenient, so it's all stored in one place. This machine came with a die for making lasagna noodles, uh, or you can use them for ravioli. It came with spaghetti, fettuccine, and a penne. It came with a cleaning device and also the Nice scraper to cut the noodles as it's coming out of the machine. How to use the machine and some recipes. So before we begin, we're going to take it all apart. Just have to unscrew those thumb screws on the front and it all just falls apart out the front. We got the front face plate there. Then the actual part that holds in the, the auger and mixer. And it also holds the die on. So it came with the spaghetti die in. Just going to take that all apart. We're going to go wash it up because uh, you just want to make sure you get all of the dust and residue from the manufacturing off of it. Now we're going to make some pasta. It's as simple as that. Plug it in. So it comes with this handy measuring cup. That's exactly one cup of flour. And on the side of the cup, it tells you then how much liquid to add to go with that one cup of flour. So we're just going to make sure that we level this cup to get it as accurate as possible. And th for this recipe, we are just using our whole wheat bread flour that we grind here on the farmstead. And I'm just going to make a very, very simple recipe with it. We're going to make this. This should be a one pound recipe here. First, you just have to put the dry ingredients. And in this case, it's purely bread flour. I'm going to put that into the mixing area, replace the lid, and there's a nice little convenient pour spout area on the lid for your fluids. This recipe calls for one egg when you're using one cup of flour. And you want to put the egg directly into this measuring cup because on the side of the measuring cup it gives you a line for if you use one cup of flour how much fluid basically to put in and so since this recipe has an egg first you put the egg in then you fill to the the line with just regular water so i'm just going to fill it up to the line here with our water you just want to be careful to get that measurement as close as you can you get a little bit of water uh, too much water it's going to get too gummy to really extrude right and if you get it not enough, it's going to be a little dry. So then you can see but there's just this little area where you can pour the fluid in. So you just pour that in, get it started. Again, very simple, you just turn on the machine with the power button. And there are two choices here. There is the automatic make noodle choice and then there is the extrude only choice. So you want to start with the automatic making noodle uh, option because you you're going to make the dough right now. You need it to mix properly. So first you have to just turn it on quickly. Just getting warmed up. There you go. And then you can press start and it makes noodles. It gives you a timer. The timer says about 2 minutes 30 seconds when it starts and that's what it takes to mix your dough completely. So it just starts mixing. It rotates one way to mix and then when it's done mixing it's going to rotate the other way to actually extrude 
the pasta. So here we are, mixing away nicely. You can see it looks a little bit drier than you think it should, but you don't want it too gummy. So there's a very fine line between having your pasta dough too dry and too wet. So it's just gonna keep mixing away here for a few more minutes. So it's done mixing. Now it gives you a little nice warning beep in case you're off doing something else in your kitchen. You go, oh, I've got to come back and I've got to cut my noodles. So here it goes. And then it starts rotating the other way and it's going to start extruding pasta. We chose the penne for tonight's meal here. I simply like the shape, I guess. And I am cutting it a bit short. I know you can, most pennes are much longer, but uh, I have little kids and instead of Cutting their noodles when they go to eat it, I am going to cut the noodles short right now. Just make them bite-sized for our family. And that's the, one of the nice things about making your own pasta is that you get to choose what shape, what size, how long, um, you know, really make it how you need it for your family with whatever ingredients you want. Again, we chose whole wheat and we used our whole wheat bread flour for this recipe. But you can obviously buy semolina flour or all-purpose flour. There's recipes for all of those things besides getting into the fancy things about adding tomatoes or uh, carrot puree or anything like that to uh, liven it up color-wise and also flavor-wise. There's so many things you can do with this pasta. Um, you can also just cook it fresh like we're going to here tonight or you can uh, dehydrate it and vacuum seal it in a bag and you basically got your own store-bought noodles. So as you can see, it comes with this very nice cutting device to cut the pasta right off of the maker here. And what I found is that if you use a very quick, sharp motion, you're going to get a better cut on your noodle. The slower you go, the more it kind of mushes your noodle together. So just quickly cutting it right off into the bowl. And again, this is going to make one pound of noodles. So it's a it's a good quantity of noodles for your average family of three or four people. Uh, we make two pounds here on the farm with so many people to feed, and uh, we happen to have a lot of noodle fanatics here, so it goes quickly. It really only takes about, you know, 10 minutes total, like they say on the box. It really doesn't take that much longer to make the whole set. Two minutes, two and a half minutes to, to mix it up, and then the rest is extruding time. And as you can see, it just keeps coming out at a nice steady pace. So it's not so fast you can't keep up with it. But it's not so slow that you feel like you're waiting forever to make a noodle. So it just, it does slow down as the machine gets towards the end of the dough. It just slows down coming out the noodles. Um, but it works great. Keeps coming out with your noodles. We're just going to make this whole batch and at the end there sometimes is a bit of the dough left in the machine and if you want to continue the machine will automatically stop when it it thinks it's done but if you want it to continue to just try to press out that last bit of dough you can select the extrude only option and it won't go through its mixing cycle it'll just start pressing out whatever it can find within that uh, pan that it mixed it in. So it's kind of a nice feature if you really want to use up the last dough. I know it's not perfect. There is always some dough left within the machine, within the dye itself. Uh, there's quite a bit, um, you know, stuck in there. But, I mean, when we're talking about quite a bit, it's still really only, you know, a few tablespoons worth of the dough that's left over. So... I don't feel that we're truly wasting a lot here on the farm. We obviously try not to waste anything. We try to be as resourceful as possible and using everything that we are given. Um, but it, so we will probably end up spending a day just making a bunch of noodle batches and only have to clean it once. If you clean it each time, yes, you're going to lose a little bit of, of dough each time. But to have homemade fresh noodles made with our own eggs, our own home ground flour, it's really gonna be worth it. We're just gonna cook them up here, get them into the pan. 
Now, one thing you can do is when they're extruding, you can put a little flour on them to try to help them keep them sticking together there. And then once you're cooking them, obviously, once they're done, you can put a little oil on them before you're serving them to help them stick, keep them sticking there. So there's our finished product. We boil them for about five minutes. They cook a lot faster than your dehydrated noodles from the store. This time we're just going to serve them up with some Alfredo sauce and our own homemade sausage. So we just chopped up sausage, put it in our Alfredo sauce, and that's for dinner tonight. Thanks for watching. We really are enjoying our fresh pasta with our Phillips pasta maker. It's been such a treat to have fresh pasta made at home, made the way we want it, right when we're going to eat it, or possibly dehydrate in the future.